Hey everybody, Chase here. Uh, I just want to give a quick update vlog uh, as to content that's going up on the channel, plus uh, a slight uh, decrease in content, and also why things have been kind of slow over the last couple weeks. Uh, if you've been following me on Twitter, and I know a good majority if you don't, because I'm at close to 500 subs, which I'll be getting to uh, an announcement about that shortly, uh, if you because the the subs on YouTube far away my followers on Twitter. If you've been following me on Twitter, uh, the reason that there hasn't been a whole lot of content being put out lately is that we've been having a little bit of a personal crisis here. Uh, my fiance, soon to be wife, we're getting married in five months. Uh, Melanie, uh, who co-hosts uh, the couple play videos here on the channel. Uh, unfortunately, was involved in a car accident uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, she's resting home. She's fine. Um, she has two fractures in her pelvis that thankfully did not require surgery, don't require her to be on a cast. Um, she's up and walking with the assistance of a cane and walker combo. Um, she's uh, wheeled out or uh, gotten rid of the walker now. She's just solely using the cane now. So hopefully... She'll be able to start walking under her own power soon. She's um, going to be starting physiotherapy this Monday, so that's going to help out quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm just going to I'm going to use some uh, props here just to kind of explain what happened. So it was a storm. It was it was a really really bad storm. Um, it was a combination of like really warm temperatures plus the fact that there was like ice pellets, ice rain, um, or freezing rain, I should say. A uh, lot of slushiness because it snowed that day as well. So she was coming home from work. So this will be the car. This Game Boy Color. And uh, I'll use Squirtle as the other character. <laughs> okay, so so she was coming home. Um, so like right here, this is, you know, and we'll use this up and down as like the intersection. So she's coming home and she's trying to get a, a left-hand turn. It's hard to you know describe on this. It looks like a right hand turn on the camera, but she's trying to do a left hand turn, and you know, kind of gunning it a little bit, trying to get some speed so that she can actually go. And then there's a car oncoming. So what happened was that she was pulling out. You know, she starts not getting enough speed uh, because of the slush. It's causing the tires to spin. So what happened was she started coming in, coming in, and Buddy started coming towards her. She had plenty of time, but Buddy slammed on the brakes. And with that temperature and the, the, the ice and the, and the slush, you're still, if she was going 50K, you're still going to be going 50K if you slam on the brakes. It's not going to help. So she was coming in, he was coming up, and bam. Uh, the entire driver's side of the car is compact, crushed, completely written off. That, the car is gone. We no longer have it. Thankfully, my in-laws have lent us one of their spare vehicles. Uh, it's a Ford Ranger pickup uh, with a stick shift, which that's been kind of fun to drive again. I haven't driven a stick in a while. Uh, thankfully, like if you look at the car, it could have been much worse. Like, I she could have been seriously injured off for more than two months than she is right now, or I could have lost her. I am extremely thankful for the fact that the car had side airbags. Uh, it helped with the impact. So, yeah, that's kind of why I went quiet for a week um, until everything was up. She was in the hospital for like four days straight, and I missed a lot of time of work. So, uh, everyone has been sending their well wishes through my work, her work, uh, people on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you guys so much. Um, she's doing very well at home right now, uh, currently resting right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, she'll hopefully back on her feet. Hopefully what this means too is that because she has a lot of time up, we can probably get some less plays done. Uh, we're currently doing one on Pokemon Leaf Green, non Nuzlocke, because if we were to do a Nuzlocke with her, it would have been over in the episode one. Uh, so yeah, that's going on. Um, I'm actually I put out the call to Twitter. I'm going to put out the call again, and I'm also going to put out the call to uh, out in YouTube. If anybody is good at sprite work, I'm looking for sprites of myself and Melanie. Primarily in the style of Final Fantasy VI, the side view, when you're in battle or when you're walking. So I kind of want to have a new intro for when we play RPGs, because uh, they're going to be long plays. They're going to be about a half hour long. 
Uh, and I would kind of like this, like, like a two-step, a two-frame animation of us walking. If you, if anyone's good at sprite work, because uh, I obviously am not, uh, just need some type of representation of myself and Melanie that's animated and walking across. If you can do it, or you know anyone else that does, uh, please message me on Twitter at Johnny L Chase. I'll have a link to it down in the description. So let's go through uh, content that's going to be coming up. So first, I'll do with the subtraction. As you may notice, uh, Total Divas, the second part of season three, has started up on E. And if you also notice, I have not been reviewing it, mainly for two reasons. The last few videos I did have not broken the 100 view mark. So I kind of have to give it up. There's really no point in me trying to produce something if nobody's going to watch it. So I will do the occasional tweet. I still watch it to see if there's anything of interest or entertainment. There is a sh short story. Uh, they kicked off Summer Rae and Naomi, and they replaced them with Alicia Fox and Paige. And what they've done is they've actually, again, storylines on Total Divas dictate what the Divas do in WWE. And it's so stupid. It, like, last season was so poorly written, and this one is just as poorly written. Uh, they eventually got into the fact that the, the whole Nikki heel turn at SummerSlam. And she tells Paige backstage, and not one person said, Why? What's the significance of you turning heel? And hopefully when they get to the end of this series, when they turn face by screwing over AJ, no one will go, what sense does that make? Someone said, I read in so many uh, YouTube comments and videos and things like that, that they actually did explain why the Bellas are back together on the WWE app. But they never repeated it on television. So if your television audience doesn't know, who cares about the fucking app? It's like, we well, got 18 million downloads. It's like, yeah, 18 million people downloaded it, but who the fuck uses it while they're watching your show? Think. Anyway. So, yeah, viewership on Total Divas is not, was not, other uh, reviews were not that great. It was fine at first. I was doing gangbusters. Like, I'm at like 2,000, 3,000 views, and then it just stopped. So, I don't know if it was the dynamic of myself and Melanie that were doing it. Uh, or that initial rise where people are just getting sick of the product. I don't know. But don't don't expect those to return. Um, I will continue doing reviews of pay-per-views and NXT TakeOver events, which the next one is actually going to be next month, uh, February 12th, I believe, um, or 11th on the WWE Network. And from what I'm hearing, or reading the spoilers, is that there's matches already announced. Fatal 4-Way for the women's belt. Charlotte... Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. Basically the only four divas they have there. They have that Alexa Bliss girl by an old blue pants, but uh, they don't really do anything else. Uh, and apparently from reading, Bailey turns heel by attacking Charlotte, but doesn't go with Sasha Banks. I'm like, I don't know what you're doing anymore. Um, Finn Balor is supposed to take on Adrian Neville for new number one contendership, and they just gave it to Kevin Owens. It's just like, me, okay, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens will fight at NXT, and he's just like, I'm not signing this. Give me a shot at the belt. And Sami Zayn's stupid, and he's like, give, me, give him a shot at the belt, because I'll fight him. He's like, all right, it's for the belt. Like, yeah, I won that. To be your best friend, you automatically get a title shot. That's the way to go. But it's still going to be a phenomenal event. I can't wait for it. Uh, so, what else? Yeah, I'm currently in the scripting process, uh, still in the sc scripting process for 2K15, Achievement uh, Horror. Uh, finally getting to get back into doing Achievement Horror videos. Uh, I can't remember the last one I did, to be honest. I think it might have been South Park Stick Truth. Could have been... I think Shadow Complex might have been it. But uh, yeah, 2K15 will be out soon. I'm actually holding off a little bit. I'm trying to get word from 2K about the showcase mode because there's going to be new showcase modes coming out with uh, Mark Henry's Hall of Pain, Christian's one more match. Uh, I believe there's an NXT one. Uh, I can't remember the other one off the top of my head, but there's more coming. So I want to know if they're going to up the achievement list and up the achievement score before I continue. I always like to wait until all DLC for games are, are, are finished before I 
do a video so I don't have to do a follow-up one. Like, I was planning to do a follow-up one for Minecraft on Xbox One because there's more achievements for that than there was on the 360, but then again, uh, they're pretty simple to get. Uh, except for one, I'm missing two. I'm, uh, I need to play it for 100 in-game days and get deal 9 hearts of damage, but for some reason, I'm at, like, level 40, and the enchanting table won't do 14, even though I have a ton of bookshelves around it. I don't know. I'll have to go on the Minecraft wiki again and figure out what's going on. So, that's that. What I'm also going to ask you guys is, what would you like uh, another couple's play for us to do? Down in the description, I'm going to have a link to my vgcollect.com page. Uh, it's a fantastic site for... Uh, keeping track of your gaming collection as opposed to like, you know, constantly looking over your shoulders like, do I have that game? Uh, I have a companion app for it on my Android so that when I'm out game hunting, I know what I'm looking for. If I have something, I was like, do I have that? And then I look through it and go, okay, yeah, I do have that. Like, there was one instance I was at a value village and I saw um, a Harvest Moon game for PS2 and I was going to pick it up and I was like, do I have this already? I don't know. And I couldn't check my documents. So I was like, I'll pass on it. I'll go home. I'll check. If I don't, I'll swing by and try and get it. And I think I hit it somewhere. Uh, they, they scan and they put stuff back anyway. Who cares? Uh, turned out I did have it, so thankfully I didn't buy it. Uh, but I'll put a link down below. If you guys want to pick something, uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, Mel and I will review it. If it's if it's a good enough game, it's something we can either play together or one of us go through. Uh, maybe her, because for the last few ones that have been single player, it's only been me that's been playing. She's been co-commentating. With Pokemon Leaf Green, it's only her that's playing. I'm just giving her advice as we go along. So, if you find something in there that's uh, good and we haven't done it already, either for Couples Play or Wrestle Month that we did last time, uh, leave it in the comments below. Uh, we'll take a look at it and we'll see if it's a, it's a, if it's a good game. Uh, that's going to do it here. Um, oh, oh, forgetting uh, 500 subs. I'm almost at 500 subs. When I do that, I'm going to make an announcement video thanking you guys, and we're going to set up a live stream, a 24-hour live stream. Not for any charities, but just to kind of hang out, have fun, get more, maybe some more eyes on the show. Uh, it'll be on the Twitch channel, uh, and I actually may have prizes to give out. Um, I've got some Steam codes lying around, uh, so I might give out some games on Steam. So, yeah, uh, and I'm going to go now because uh, I'm... Just playing around with Squirtle right now. Uh, if uh, you guys follow me on Twitter, uh, you get more information about what's going on. Uh, again, link down in the description below. Thank you, everyone, uh, so far on Facebook and Twitter uh, and on the channel for uh, your well wishes towards Melanie as we get her rehabbed, get her back on her feet, uh, and back in the workforce because uh, unemployment will not pay the bills. Uh, so thank you so much again. If you want to give us ideas or thoughts about what games we should play next for Couples Play, link down below to the uh, collection. That's all the games we own. That's the ones that we were able to record footage for and play. So uh, I will say, though, because we're doing Leaf Green right now, uh, I will say no to any JRPGs. Uh, you want to put in some platformers, Smash Adventures, uh, minus RPGs. We've got some already lined up for future. But anything else, I would say anything but uh, JRPGs, we're good. You can uh, pick from that list. So, uh, yeah, get some of those ideas out there, and uh, I'll see you next time.